Recently, I discovered one of the most powerful ways to generate leads on LinkedIn. And the best part is that it's very simple to implement. And the reason why this method is so amazing is because it leverages Hayreach, Clay, and Make.com to send personalized lead magnets at scale. So I found a guy called Michael Saruja online and he's absolutely killing it. And he did this exact same method using Instantly. And we're gonna do it right now with Hayreach. So by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to implement it for yourself and generate thousands and thousands of leads. Now this works so well because it can completely flips the script on how lead magnets have been done in the past. Previously, you would send out what I would call a generic lead magnet. And a generic lead magnet is essentially some sort of cookie cutter template that you would send out to everyone. But because it was a generic lead magnet, it wouldn't convert as well. And we would have to assume what the current situation of the prospect was. On the other hand, we could have done a personalized lead magnet, but that was incredibly time consuming. It would require a full time VA or a full time SDR to essentially create personalized resources to send. And so we would generally reserve that for the end of the sales process when we were making customized proposals or customized quotes. Now the new way completely flips it on its head because it now lets us do personalized lead magnets at the beginning of the sales and marketing journey. Imagine being able to send every lead a personalized resource that converts at such a higher rate and that makes them feel seen and heard by your marketing. And so on a high level, this is exactly how it works. First, we're going to start with Hayreach. Hayreach is a LinkedIn outreach tool and it has an awesome feature called a uni box, which basically lets us see inside the inbox of LinkedIn accounts. Now with that uni box, we can then tag a conversation. And then when that conversation is tagged, send that lead into a clay table. Now clay is almost like Google Sheets with AI powered on top of it. Now when that lead goes into clay, we're going to use AI to basically create personalized elements and variables, which we're going to use for our lead magnet. We're then going to send the output from clay into make.com, which is going to create a Google Doc for us, which is the personalized lead magnet and it's going to be stored inside Google Drive. So let's kick it off. I'm going to show you how to do step one. First, we've got to go into Hayreach and create a campaign so that we can start speaking to individuals. So all we've got to do is head over to Hayreach. This is what the dashboard looks like. We're going to click on campaigns. We're going to click start new campaign and we're going to give it a name. And in this case, I'm going to do Hayreach Clay make test. Then we'll click create. Now, when you're in this page, you can then add a bunch of leads that you want to reach out to. So I've already uploaded a bunch of leads to Hayreach, which was super, super easy. And then I'm going to click continue. And then I can select the accounts I want to send messages from. Now, Hayreach is really cool because it will let me use multiple accounts for the same campaign. So now I can 3x my connection volume with three accounts. I click continue. I click continue again. And then I'm going to do a simple campaign, which says if there are a connection and if we're not connected, I'm going to send a connection request. It's going to be blank for now. And then I'm going to click add message after they've accepted. And for this video, I'm going to assume that I'm a YouTube agency. So I'm trying to get YouTube agency clients. And the message I'm going to write, I'm going to write first name over here because I can add some personalization with Hayreach. Hey, first name, I saw you have some awesome case studies. You could easily generate a couple new clients just by posting that to YouTube. I've taken one of them and created a strategy around it can I send the doc over? And this works so well because one is I'm not trying to ask for a meeting. I'm actually offering value outright. And that value is going to be my personalized lead magnet. So I can expect a high reply rate. And all I've got to do is copy this over to the fallback message and remove the variable. And then I'm just going to click can save and click continue. And then I can launch this campaign and get going. Now, the next step happens after about a day when you start getting responses. And I guarantee you this campaign will get responses because it has such irresistible value. Now I can head over to the uni box. And when I get that positive reply, all I need to do is open up a conversation and add a tag to it. And that's a way of me signaling that this conversation, this lead needs a personalized lead magnet. Now I've created a tag name already. I've called it Amon, So I'm just going to search it. And that's what I would do in practicality. The next step is to make sure that when this tag is added, this data is sent over to Clay. So I'm going to head over to integrations on Hayreach. Now what I'm going to do is click on integrations, click on webhook under the connections number and click create webhook. For the webhook name, I'm going to write Amen Hayreach Clay. For the event type, I'm going to choose lead tag updated. And then I need to get a webhook URL. And this is when I go into Clay. So this is the table that I have already over here. And what I've done is I've created a table that captures from a webhook and I'll show you how to create that too. Now when you're in Clay, you got to go click new, click workbook, and then you need to click all sources, and then we're going to search for webhook. You're going to click on that one, and this is now going to create us a URL that we're going to put into Hayreach. So we can copy this one, and we're going to go back into Hayreach, and we're going to paste that as the webhook URL and click create webhook. And there you go. Hayreach is now connected up to Clay. So every time a conversation gets added with a tag, it will send it directly to that table in clay.com. Now, I've already had this connected up for some time, so I'm going to show you what I did. When the webhook comes in, it looks like this, and you can click on the webhook, and then you can add a column for all this information about the lead. And 
And so I added a column for the lead's first name, for the lead's last name. I also added it for the company name, the company URL, and the profile URL. I also added the tag over here because I need to do something quite important. I need to filter for the tag that I care about. So I'm gonna click filters over here and put where the tag is equal to and I'm gonna write the tag name that I used. And so now only the conversations which have the tag that I just applied and I created inside HeyReach make it to this table. So the next step is to create all the personalized variables I want for my personalized lead magnet. And so I need to create what this personalized lead magnet will look like. This is one I've created already and it's basically saying, this is first name's custom strategy for brand names. This might be, hey, this is Martin's custom strategy for SEMrush. And I say, we booked 20 calls for YouTube with a similar strategy. And I go through some text about what we do. And then I say, and now you you can do it too. And this is where the personalized variables come in. I say step one ideation. I saw your case study on, and then I'm going to have double, double brackets, case study URL. So I'm going to pull that as a custom variable from Clay. I said, based on that case study, we can create videos with potentials like case study title. That's something I'm going to generate inside Clay. And the outline of the video would be as follows. And I'm going to give an outline too. Want to give it a go? Let me know on LinkedIn and I'll send you some more resources to kick off. So in this template, I have five custom variables, first name, brand name, case study URL, case study title, and outline. And honestly, I could have only one and I could also so I have a hundred. It doesn't actually matter as long as we're putting them in curly brackets. So now I need to create these variables so I can send them to make.com, which will then fill out this Google doc. And so this is how I did it. I basically used a bunch of collagens. So I'm going to walk you through now how I created each of those variables. So the very first variable I got was the first name and the brand name, which I already have from HeyReach. That's first name and company name over here. The next variable I wanted was the case study URL. And so I created a column on Clay. So if I click edit column, you'll see exactly what I did. I have, I'm using OpenAI GPT-4 1.1 model and I wrote a prompt over here. I said, context, your task is finding a company's website and identifying the best case study available on that website. I'm not going to read through all of it, but the whole objective is to find and return a URL of the best case study. And so it gives instructions over on how to do that. It has an example and then the output should look like a case study URL. And as a result, when a lead comes in, it will literally create and find the case study URL for me there and there. And so for example, when I ran this on Mariana's account at Hayreach, it pulled up this case study about how they booked in 15 sales calls in a single week. Now with this case study URL, I added a new collagen column, which was designed to create a YouTube title, which followed the same format as the best way to get result. And so this was able to create me YouTube titles like the best way to 2x your demos with the rewards or the best way to 30x leads with outbound. And finally, I created another prompt, which said, given the URL and the YouTube title, create me a outline of the video. And here's the prompt over here. And I'll scroll through so you can see it and capture it. And as a result, I got awesome outputs that looked like this. Now I have all the personalized variables inside Clay, I now need to send them to make.com. So you've got to head over to make.com and create this scenario. So all you have to do is click add module and we're going to click and search their webhooks and we're going to do custom webhook exactly the way I've done it below. And then you can add a webhook or you can use an existing one. You can click add over here and click save. And as a result, you'll get a URL that looks like this. Now I've done this already, so I'm not going to do it again, but basically I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to put it inside Clay. And this is how I configured the column that sends the data from Clay to Hayreach. You click edit column over here you choose post method and you paste the endpoint URL. And now you need to add all the variables that you want to send across. Now, the way to do this is in a JSON. So it's really simple. You can copy the format over here, but essentially it's a curly bracket and it's question mark and the variable name that you want to give it. And that's the same variable name. And it's the variable name that you want to give it. Ideally, you keep it the same as we had in the templates. And then you just match the columns accordingly. So we have first name to first name column. We have brand name to company name column, case of the URL to case of the URL column and so forth. And all we got to do then is click save. Now in practice, what you should do is click on this webhook and click redetermine data structure. And then you should play this cell over here so that that information goes to make and then make understands what you're going to be sending across. And so we can use those variables in the next module. And so you'll probably see something that says successfully determined. The next thing you're going to do is use this module, which is create a document from a template. So click add module. You're going to click the plus sign of there. You're going to click Google Docs and you're going to say create a document from a template, which is over here. Now, again, I'm not going to do it because I've done it already, but this is what mine looks like. I connect up my Google Google Drive, I choose by drop down my drive, I make sure I use the exact folder structure that I have. So it's in the Hayreach Clay make test folder under template and all those variables are sent, I'm going to map it over one by one, I'm going to give a title to my Google Doc, which is going to be first name hyphen brand name, and then I'm going to click save, I'm going to save this scenario, I'm going to toggle immediately as data arrives. And that's it, it's all done. And so let's try the whole flow out. I found a lead, his name is Daniel, and he runs an agency in Germany. So I'm going to literally add a tag to his name, which is I'm in.
So I've added the tag um and I'm going to go over to Clay and see how it comes through. So I can see that his title has come in today on the 15th of July, Daniel at topads.io. And I'm now waiting to have it come through Clay. So it's found a case study, which is over here. And this is the URL over here. It's in German though. So let's see how the AI handles it. And it's done a pretty good job because it's translated and worked out the title, which would be the best way to 10x ad research with filters, which is great. It's then working on the YouTube outline right now. And it's created an outline, which is over here. And now it's created a status code 200, which means it's sent so it's now gone into make.com it started over here it's created a google doc from the template now if i open a google folder where my template is stored i should see daniel hyphen top as io and if i double click on that and i open up that google document i have my template with the filled out variable so daniel for top as io and it's all over here now all i got to do is click share general access anyone can view. And I'm gonna copy that link and head over back to HeyReach, paste the URL and send it to the lead. And there you go. I was able to go from HeyReach into Clay, into make.com and then create a personalized lead magnet. Now this is only one specific way to get leads on LinkedIn. If you want this to be really sustainable long-term, there's a few other things you have to do. So click here to check out the next video where you can look at the full LinkedIn lead generation strategy to help your business grow leads, revenue and sign more clients. See you in the next one and thank you for watching.